Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use archives to find old versions of web pages. Now, when I say web pages, it could be all sorts of pages. It could be an article, it could be a company's website, a social media account, etc. Perhaps a web page you're interested in has been modified or it's been deleted and all you get is an error message. Either way, you're curious to see what it looked like in the past. That's where the Wayback Machine may be able to help you. It's an online archive search tool with more than 700 billion saved pages. These are saved either manually by internet users like you and me, or by computer programs that trawl the internet to save parts of it. Let's look at a few examples. First, let's say you were curious to see what the front page of the New York Times website looked like on a historic day, September 11, 2001. So I'm going to enter the URL of the New York Times homepage, which is nytimes.com, then hit Browse History to travel back in time. So here you can see that the Wayback Machine has archives for nytimes.com going back all the way to the year 2000. Let's go to 2001 and then to September 11th. 14 snapshots of the homepage were saved on that day. Let's go to the earliest one. Archives can be a bit slow to load, so you have to be patient. And here we go. And here's the last snapshot on that day. This allows us to see the headlines that were used throughout this historic day. Okay, now imagine that someone, perhaps a politician, wrote something on social media that got a lot of people angry and then quickly deleted it. But maybe they weren't fast enough and someone had already archived it. This actually happens pretty frequently. Let's look at the case of several tweets by Bolivia's interim president back in 2013. People online were commenting that these tweets were insulting to indigenous people. And then suddenly they went offline. If you clicked on their URL, all you got was an error message. However, by putting these URLs into the Wayback Machine, we were able to find archive versions like this one. Of course, you can use archives in lots of other situations. For example, to find an archive version of a social media account that may have been banned from a platform, or to look at how the text of an article has changed over time. So now we've seen how the Wayback Machine is really useful to search through the past, but you can also use it to archive web pages yourself. All you have to do is copy and paste the URL under Save Page Now, and then hit Save Page. Again, you have to be patient because it can take a little while. Once saved, the archive will be publicly available for all to see. Make sure to double check the result though, because sometimes it will save an error page instead of the correct page, especially when it comes to social media posts. If that happens, you can try other free archiving tools like archive.today. Some media companies also choose to pay for archiving software. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below the video. And if you want to learn more digital investigation skills, you can head on over to digitalcourses.afp.com.